Hello, my name is Jacob, and today we will be reviewing Snow Falling on Cedars. With me today is my friend Tom, um, helping me review this movie. Hello, everybody. Well, to start with, we watched the movie Snow Falling on Cedars in our English class. All right, there are th for each movie, there's always three things that, sh that you should take note of. Acting, story, and special effects. Not that anything else matters. The first thing I noticed about this film was how the director set up, up amazing, amazing scenes and great photography. I agree. The scenes were very good. It was just so clear and it was the type of movie that you, where you can pay attention from start to finish. But there was one key element that this movie was lacking. Unfortunately, it was one of the most important ones. And when it comes to storyline, there's no movie that fails as much as this movie. Except Dragon Ball. Now I... Now I'm noting. Now I'm not saying that Scott Hicks is a bad director, or or the person who directed this movie. He did a bad job, uh, but he was just trying to piece together an already shattered mess of a story. The main, the person that should be mainly held responsible is the book's book's author, or David Gutterson. How do you say his name? Gutterson. That's Gutterson. Okay. The writer of Snow Falling on Cedars, for using his imagination for this, I don't think that it was the best imagination that could have been used to put something this artsy together. Or, I also noticed that every 10 seconds or so there was a random flashback that had absolutely nothing to do with the, with the previous scene. Snow Falling on Cedars is a story about stereotype after the Japanese Americans had returned from internment camps. The movie leads to more of a love story between Ishmael Chambers, played by Ethan Hawke, who falls in love with Hatsu Imada, who plays Yuki Karu. It turns out that Hatsu can never be in love with Ishmael, due to the fact of her dictatorist mother. So when they grow up, Hatsu breaks Ishmael's heart and turns around and marries some random Japanese American who served in the war. Which, by the way, me being a historian, I always have to poke at things like this. If I remember correctly, e this unit ended up ended up being wiped out in forty three by an SS attack. They called it they called it the um, Purple Heart Squad, if I remember correctly. So how we survived is beyond me. Right. So Hatsu marries Kazu Miyamoto, who is played by Rick Yoon, the man who survived the SS attack. Then Kazu gets convicted of murdering a fisherman, Carl. Which, by the way, how he gets caught in the fishnet is mind-blowing. <laughs> because the book says he fell off the side of the boat, but the net is behind the boat. So, you be the judge of that one. Overall, the acting was flawless. The special effects were well done, but the story, as you can probably tell right now, had some serious plot holes. But it is by far not the worst movie I have ever seen. So overall, I would give this movie a C for Cedars. And for trying. Couldn't agree more.